Hello everyone, this is Bao from Bao's Craft Creations and today I want to do a tutorial, a simple tutorial of this mini pocket embellishment using doily. Um, I was trying to find something easy to make because I've been, my latest um, tutorial has been kind of long. Um, because I've been doing some um, design team projects. So those tutorials have to be longer than a you know, regular tutorial. Well, usually my tutorials are kind of long, but, but today uh, what I wanna do is a simple embellishment using doilies. I'm gonna use the circle doily. I just received all these doilies and I think it, was a, it wasn't a swap. I think it was like a random kind of, um, random act of kindness rack that somebody sent me this. Or oh, oh, I don't remember if it wasn't a swap and uh, and that person sent me all this as a gift. I don't remember right now, but I have all these doilies here um, that I we gonna uh, you know I want to use on this project. I really like the white ones because you can use any color ink and but since I have all this I may use different ones but this is what we're gonna be making it's an embellishment this one was sent as a note from a swap Mitchell Peterson a crafty friend um, sent me this doily as a note so I used the as an embellishment just to do like the prototype and see how it was gonna look and then I'm going to try to use some um, little things that I have received and swaps, you know, to decorate and to use inside my pocket. My, let me tell you, my fur partner, my crafty partner is in the room. I don't know if she's going to come on to the camera, but if she does, I may need to stop the tutorial. She's looking at me. She's over there on my bed, but... She was outside my room, and when she saw that I was going to close the door, she came to the room. So let's see if she behave. If not, I may need to take her out of the room. But let me tell you what I'm going to use. Um, I'm just going to use scraps. And it's just scraps from, um, you know, the paper that, you know, the 12 by 12 paper pad. It have this on the top of the paper. So I cut this, some of this, and keep them, kept them. And this is just why um, cardstock that I was doing, printing some um, digital kit for some project, uh, my um, design project that I had to make. So I was printing the paper and cutting the fabric and all that. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And as my decoration right here, I'm going to be using this stamp set. Um, I've been promoting um, this brand, Glowflam. They contacted me and sent me some um, some different um, craft products. And, you know, as they want me to use it on my tutorial. So if you want to see what I got from Glowflam, you can go ahead and look, uh, watch the video where I did the unboxing. I got, I think, um, three stamp sets, die cuts, uh, and stencils. I already used the die cut in the previous tutorial, um, the one with the loaded pocket. And now I'm going to be using the stamp set. It's like, for me, it's like kind of botanical. So that's going to be my focus image. Like on this one, I use this one right here. So Glowflang is a company um, based on the UK. Um, this stamp set, if I'm not mistaken, was two ninety nine. But I will leave the, um, the 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 information of this stamp set below in the description box. I also gonna leave a link for Glowflang um, website. So you, if you wanna go and take a look and order, they have very affordable. Craft item, they had different prices, you know, more expensive and less expensive. But I think this stamp set, if I'm not mistaken, was $2.99, but I'm not sure. But I will leave the correct um, price below. And 
you get a 10% discount if you use my discount code that I also gonna leave below on the description box. I really love this stamp set. Um, it is like, if it has like a botanical feel and I like that it has scripts. This is like a mini calendar, like weekly calendar here. Um, we have flower, this one say flower, this one say flower. So this is a pretty nice stamp set. I already used this one and I really like how the image print on my cardstock. So that's what we're, what we're gonna do. So what I did, I created this cluster here using just scraps. I have some scraps here and also here. So that's what we're gonna be using for decoration. It's gonna be like scraps and so maybe I will use some other stuff, but mainly it's gonna be like scraps um, that I have laying around on my desk. So, and I wanna get rid of them. Let me put some of this there. So that's the main things that we may be using. I may grab a couple of things that are beside me here, but um, like this maybe, let me see what else, Had this here. So just grab what you have around you. Maybe you. this is the best time to use your scraps. I had that there too. And I have some of this like, it's like mesh or like tool. So that's what I'm gonna be using, but I, I'm gonna try to be using my scraps. I also have some bling here, some flowers. Um, you know, some things that I have on my desk, um, drawers that I wanna use, and then like to put on my pockets. I had this little box and I had things that people have sent me on um, different swaps. They usually like include some things on my, um, like as gift when I swap. So I, I'm gonna try to use as much as this and some scraps. So I had that here too. So in case that you wanna grab whatever you have around your desk, I grab all my inks. Well, not all of them, but some of my archival ink to stamp and you know, that's what we're gonna be using on this project. It's an easy project. We're gonna do a couple of them. Um, this doily is a smaller than this one. So I'm not gonna be using this coffee dye, tea dye paper. I'm gonna grab this one. Maybe, I don't know if I wanna do a red one, but maybe a yellow and maybe pink. For now, that I'm gonna grab this four, maybe this three because I already use a white one. I grab this one. This one are larger than the one that I used. This is the size that I use for this pocket. You see, smaller. But since I already did one of this one, we're gonna try to do to use these ones here. So let's start with. I, could go, I like this color. Let's do the pink. Let's do the pink because I have a little fabric here that I may want to use. So this is very easy. Just turn your dolly, you know, face down, the pretty side face down. And you're just going to fold the sides. And you can go in as much as you want. You can do it like this. But I'm just going to go right here. I'm gonna leave that gap there. I'm gonna try to be as precise, you know, try both of my sides to be almost the same. It don't have to be perfect, really. So, and then you fold this below here, the bottom part, and that's it for your pocket. And I just put a little bit of glue here and here just to hold it in place. Let me grab my glue gun here. I also have my regular um, um, liquid glue, but I'm just gonna do that there, making sure that I don't glue my whole pocket. Let me see. Yeah, so that's it. And you can even put something here too, like a double pocket. If you wanna do a double pocket, I will put like a little glue here 
like that. Not too much because you know this is a doily and you don't want it. The glue go, you know, in between your holes. So let's see. Let me see if we can do it. Yeah, you see, you can do a double pocket. So maybe we will do a double pocket with this one. A pocket here. And then you a smaller pocket on the front. Look how cute. It's already looking cute. Okay, so let me put that there. And... Let me grab, let me see. I wanna use, let's use this one that say love, right here. Let me see if my scrap paper is for good. Well, I, it doesn't matter if this don't print. It really don't matter. Let me put something here to cover my desk. Let me grab a paper here. Can't my little cat is behaving. Hopefully, she will be still behave. <laughs> Let me know, Jean said, and talk too much because she may come around. So we're just gonna do like a mini cluster. A stamp. Really like this stamp set. It's really pretty. You're doing like a botanical journal. This will be the best stamp set ever. Okay, there you go. Look. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut my image. Let me clean my stamps. This archival ink is very bright and the pigment stay on the stamps, even though that I clean it. I may try to clean it with soap and see, but that's fine. And I'm just gonna distress the edges. I'm just gonna use the same ink. I was trying to um, round the corners on the other one, but since it's a smaller, piece of paper I was having a hard time so I say well just leave it like that and I'm gonna use some of this I uh, think I may use this flower side I'm gonna do like a little banner here And like I told you, it doesn't have to be perfect. And maybe you're not gonna be able to see it. Let me see, because I want this to show. So I may do something like this a little bit, something like that. We're just gonna create a little cluster. put let's see I didn't want to cover the flower but if I have to uh, let me use maybe that side something like that I like that and then maybe some um, she's club So let me start gluing some of my pieces.
This one I may not use a sentiment because it's a love there. And this one I put be brave. So I'm not gonna put anything else like a sentiment or something because it's a love right there. And our closet is gonna go there, but let's see if I wanna use a flower maybe. Yeah, these small ones here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. So let me glue this down. Careful, let me see if I don't close my pocket. I forgot that I want to do a double pocket there. Perfect, I love it. Let me see what I have here that we can put inside our pocket. And hopefully I didn't close the other pocket. <laughs> So this is like a botanical theme I'm trying to use. Let me see if I have things with flowers and this is a leaf. Let's see. I think this tag is too big. Maybe not. Mm, yeah, I don't like how it looks. I want smaller thing. Look, this is perfect. I have flowers. I think I closed my pocket, let me see. No. A little bit. There. Maybe I closed the one on the front. Oh, oh look, how pretty. But I wanna use this one since it have pink. And look at this one. Somebody sent me this. I haven't used this, but let's see if we didn't close the front pocket. Maybe I did. But you can still put it there. Let's see, but I just close it. Let me see. I think I need something smaller. Yes. Yeah, I think something smaller will go better in the front. Maybe a ticket. See if I have one that have flowers. Oh, this is so pretty. We can just, like I guess I wanna focus on my, um, let's see, something smaller for the front. Maybe I will use a ticket like this. There. Wait, my pocket. There. Right there. I think this is like a little, um, something like larger than this will go better there, like a wider, something like that, you see, it look better. Maybe this one, let's see. Oh yeah, something wider looks better on the pocket. And then on the front, I need something small. Something like that, I like it. So let's put this one to the side. This goes together, so I'm gonna hold it for another one. And this may go with this. Look, I had this. This one I, I want to use on the yellow one. Let's do the yellow now. Look, I have more stuff here. 
We drop and this is full. I don't want to use that. Let me grab some small things here. I think that's good enough. I think I have enough here, All right? It's another flower, maybe it's this one for the red one. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I have enough there, so I'm gonna put this aside for now. Just want to take some things out of the way. Okay, so let me put this aside for now. And this is what we're going to use for the pockets. Let's do the yellow. So let me pick. I'm going to use the sunflower. So I'm going to use one that says flowers now. I think this one. Let me get my yellow archival ink. It's look like orange, but um, this is the one that I'm using. Sunflower is the color. Make sure that I, I am on frame. So we don't need the pink one, let's put it outside. My scraps. Make sure. Okay, let's see. They're so pretty. I really love this stamp set. Okay, so let me, I clean it, but still yellow. Okay, let's put that. Let me grab my little sponge here to distress the edges. Let's cut this. archival inks are so bright very pigmented but I love it there you go that's gonna go with that one let's take put this to the side and let's do I'm not stressing the um, doilies but if you want to do that you go ahead and do that I really like I think the one pocket instead of the two pockets I don't have to be worrying about um, closing my pockets. So, but if you want to do, we already did one that is two pocket. So you can see, you know, see that we can do the double pocket. But I think this one I'm gonna do just one pocket. Even though it's, I know it's there, but I kind of like the look of just putting one thing inside instead of. Two. So I'm gonna be more careful. I'm gonna go here, close my pocket since I'm only gonna have one. Let me see if my sunflower card, yeah, it's the perfect side. Let's distress it. I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I have some sunflowers flowers here just a second let me look here i know that i have some flowers but i may have it somewhere else let's see let's see what are my sunflowers just a second i i just thought about it and i want to see if i still had those sunflowers here sorry for the noise I know I do, I know. 
But right now, I, I don't know where are they. It's a shame because that would be nice to have some, some flowers there. I had this one, but they're too big. I know I have a small one that I got at um, Dollar Tree, but that's fine. We'll do with what we have here. Next time I will use them in, like in another project. I know I'm making a lot of noise, sorry. Let me look again real quick. My drawer here. Here they are, look, I found them. Sorry, look, that would be perfect there. Okay, so let's do our cluster. I'm gonna use this. Sorry, I know I should be prepared, but I wasn't thinking about it when, okay, so let's do that. Maybe. Yeah, I like that there. So put some glue here on the edge. can use this no but I, this is white let me grab a piece of this one that is like a cream color perfect this in place there let me grab some cheese cloth here I don't know, I, I like the look that cheesecloth give to like clusters and stuff. Let's grab my flower, my sunflower. I got these sunflowers at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still have it because they brought them for, um, I don't mind if I cover some of this. Um, they brought them when, you know, they start bringing the fall stuff. Oh, I love this. Look how pretty the sunflower looks. Okay. I may, this one say flowers, but I may bring... I want something else there. Maybe be courageous somewhere here. Let me cut some of this white out and see if I want to use this or just leave it as is. And I have. Where is it? I just saw it. I just saw it. I don't see it now. I, I have somewhere 
it was like a craft color trim um no trim thread but i don't see it now i know i have it here somewhere but that's fine maybe it went to the floor because i wanted to tie this little brown here here now i can find it well let's continue No, I don't want that. I can't believe I lost it. No, okay. So maybe just plain like this. You're gonna see that I'm gonna found it after I move all my stuff. It always happens. Oh, how pretty. And then our sunflower card here, journaling card. Let me see. You have to be careful not to close your pockets there. Look how pretty. They're so cute. Look, the pink one, the double one. I don't know. I can't. I kind of like it like this, but this one is growing on me. Look, the green one. So let's do a red one. Let me see what ink I want to use. I don't have red, but I have this kind of it's thistle. It's like a burgundy color. Let's use that one. So let me see what stamps. I want to use for this one. Um, kind of like this one down here. Put it there. It's just like a burg burgundy color. It's not red, but it's close to red. So that's fine. There. It's darker than my doily, but you know, I don't mind it. For the green one, I use my archival ink fern green that's the one that i use for the green one the name of the pink one is magenta hue oh look look where the piece of <laughs> i told you oh my goodness this is what i was looking for to put under like under the sentiment but that's fine it wasn't meant to be so that's the <laughs> i knew i was gonna find it if i move some stuff around but Okay. Then this is the last one. I may do this one. I like this color. I may do this one too. Let's see. So let me distress this. Let me change my um, sponge here. Let me see where's my red one. This one says, I, I can't <laughs> read that, let me see. No, much conceive about there is for, I can read all of that. <laughs> it says something here, but. I 
I can read it. Okay, so let's, this is my front, so fold this. Close do my pocket. Just gonna put some glue, just a little dot there. Here, maybe some, just a little bit. I have to be careful not to close my pocket. the main one because the other one make sure yeah I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue here I think for this one I want this with red flowers See, pretty. I'm gonna stress it. I'm having so much fun making these little cluster things that I may even continue working on some more after I'm done here. This one, I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Something like that. I have this red thing here. Let me cut a little piece and see if I wanna use it or not. I may use, see I can always cut more if I don't like it, let's see. Let me use this longer. Wait. Cheese cloth here. Yeah, I like that. So let me glue this. I need to put more glue on the bottom, but no, let me see. Wait. I know this don't go with this, but since I don't have red, that's the way it's gonna go. I wish I had, maybe I should have used black, maybe, but that's fine. I wasn't thinking about it. Make sure that I don't glue my pocket. I kind of don't like how the purple, it kind of look purple. Let me see, I think I'm gonna go and get my black ink. I think I'm gonna go with the black ink, just a second. Let me grab my black.
Seeing the black one is gonna look better. It's okay to change your mind when you're crafting. The air, yeah, I think so. I think so. She's behaving so much. She's kind of sleepy right now. But let me not look at her too much. My little cat. I call her name. We adopted her and they put that name Ratatouille, I think it is, from the movie. We didn't like it. So we changed it to Lara. But then we start calling her Stinky and she was responding. Sorry, I moved my camera. To Stinky. So now she knows that she's Stinky. And she's laying there in my bed peacefully. So hopefully she will stay like that. But that's the story of my silly goose. If you are a member of my group, Facebook group, or if you follow me on my page, I'm pretty sure you have seen the pictures of her. If you are not a member of my group or my Facebook page, you can find it on my, um, there's the, a link tree on my, on the link, um, on the banner. There's a, like a little tree. That's my link tree. You can find all my social media there. On my group right now, I don't do like, um, events right now, but look how pretty. But you can see the pictures of my cat there. So pretty. You will, let me see the time. I think I'm not gonna do any more on camera. I'm gonna do this one off camera. You already got the idea of how to make the pockets. So let me move some of the things around. Let me show you the stamp set again. The company that sell these ones are Glowfland. Wait just a second, let me put this one. So this is the name of the company. Glove Land. I don't know if you can see it there. This is the stamp set. I will leave the, the screech, um, everything, um, the link for this one below so you can go ahead and, and, and get it. I don't see a name here, but I will leave um, all the information for the um, stamp set below. And remember, you get 10% discount on your order if you use my coupon code that I'm gonna leave below on the description box, but that's the stamp set. So let me bring this back. Let me show you one, each of them, like that, that's the green one. Our pink one with the double pocket. The yellow one with the sunflowers. And I think these flowers are poppies. I don't remember, but our red one. Look how cute they are. So thank you for watching everyone. Please leave me a comment below. Um, or give me a thumbs up. Um, that way you will help me, you know, with um, letting YouTube know that you like and enjoy my videos. Uh, if you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, they will recommend my tutorials to other people. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to the 650. I think I was one subscriber away to the 650. And then, then I'm gonna try to reach the 700 subscribers but please subscribe it's free and you will support me you know in a great way so thank you for watching everyone happy craftings